Okay, so I want to quickly go over how to do Git flow uh, in VS Code. So what does VS Code gives us uh, to make it a little bit easier and faster? This is using this extension here. This is the GitHub issues and pull requests extension. I think you have to install that. And uh, you know, first time set it up using your GitHub username and password. And then you can click over here. Uh, once I, I'm already in a project here, learn show you the uh, the repo here. So this is the repo, it's just a readme. And it's got some issues here. And as you can see over here, uh, when I go to the tab, I can see uh, my issues. I don't have any issues assigned. And there are three issues here. Uh, so the first thing is, well, I want to show you this. You can create an issue from here. If you use the magic word to do, colon, or uh, there's some other words you can use, like uh, fix me, I think. So click on the little light bulb, create GitHub issue. It asks uh, what title you want for the issue, how to do Git flow in VS Code. Uh, let's call demo this. Enter. And um, it worked. I hope. Let's go. Uh, reload the page. And yeah. The mode is, is there. Uh, I'm not assigned. I could have assigned it, by the way, uh, but I didn't. So I'm going to assign myself to it. Now, this means I have to do this. So go back over here. I refresh my issues. And now I have an issue. See, I am assigned to that issue. And you see this little arrow here. I hover over it. Says, it says start working on issue and check out a topic branch. So I'm going to click on that. Notice that there's nothing down here right now. And I am on the main branch. I click on that. And, uh, and now it tells me I'm working on issue number six. Demo this. And I created this branch, uh, which is, you know, my username and issue six. So the name of the branch is issue six. And you can totally change that in the settings if you want. You know, you can create your own. and Typically, people use like the title uh, for the uh, branch name, but whatever. Uh, for now, we just use that. That's the default, and uh, I'm gonna do my work. So I am demoing this. Uh, I can say I'll add a poem here, and let's say you know I'm just gonna break this into several commits. So I'm done for today. I'm going to commit this to my branch. So I go, as usual, go to over here. And you see it already populated the comment. It says demo this, fix this number six. So uh, this assumes really that you know I'm done with issue six, but I'm not done yet. So I'm just going to edit that, you know, and start it work on it probably not a good comment uh, add that to the stage um do you want to do that so add that so it's now stage and committed uh oh i forgot to save the file yeah i always do that uh and uh so i was committed i can publish it so push it up to github it says do you want to create a pull request no i don't want to i'm not done uh, I mean, I could, but I don't want to right now. We'll do it next time. So you see, because I put the number six here on the issue, demo this, it puts my commit right there. That's because I put that number six, GitHub knows to associate uh, this commit, which I just did with this issue, so it shows up right there. You know, that's nice. Anybody can come here and see, you know, yeah, he started working on it, not done yet though. So, uh, Let's continue working as the next day. So, uh, once upon a midnight, uh, there we go. Now we're here. GitHub Copilot is awesome. And uh, you see, see how good I'm typing? Yep. Yeah. Okay. Only this and nothing more. We're not done yet. Ah, distinctly remember. Okay. So, let's say we're done right there. 
and again now i want to commit it go back to source whoops go back to source control i gotta save my file <laughs> that's why it's not showing up there and you see the little message is no longer in the commit which is annoying uh, but you can sort of get it back by putting a hash here and it'll show you then all the issues and then you kind of have to remember that you're on issue six so i'm on six so i'm going to do that and well it doesn't put everything there but uh, it's a start uh it says demo this fixes it number six so that's what i wanted i'm going to stage this and i'm going to commit and push commit push done we go back over here it's there i go back over here now now i do want to create the um pull request the little pop-up didn't show up or maybe it did i didn't see it but we can get it back we can click here uh we're going to create a pull request and it says you know this is the name of the pull request again maybe maybe it, this should be the uh you know demo this the title of the issue um, but i just change it create it and there it is this is like this is basically the web page um and you could close it from here but i think typically we're gonna go over to github go over to pull request and then it shows up demo this and there's my pull request uh with the two commits ready to commit it I'm going to merge that pull request merge it into my main branch uh, and there it is it just got merged and now the issue is closed so because it had fixes the issue closed when we closed the pull request which is nice um, and so that's how that works and oh one thing we do want to come back here you still have this here now this is no longer correct because it's closed so we don't want that but we're still here in issue six so i want to get out of there i click on it i want to say i'm going to stop working on six i'm done with it it's done and now i am back on the main branch and that's the last thing we do and now i can just do it all over again go back here i look for any issues oh look nothing is designed to me i am done for today